Well, we've got blue skies and the weather is getting a lot warmer. And as we know, it's always sunny in Wrexham. Welcome to Wrexham Property TV, the May edition. And coming up on this month's show is... Well, has Wrexham as a town ever, ever had a month like May 2022 is going to be? So, still the season's very much alive for Wrexham this year because if we have to play the playoffs, the obviously this season is extended. But in addition, Sunday the 22nd of May, Wembley Stadium. A fabulous day out for 40,000 Wrexham fans. The town's going to be half empty. But what a fantastic culmination of an incredible season. And playing Bromley, is it too much to dare that well, to save and that we should beat Bromley. But it's a cup match, it's a one-off event, and I guess that all that adds to the excitement as well. So, an incredible May ahead for Wrexham as a town. At the end of May, it could be possibly the most important month the town has ever experienced. Let's hope so. There is still time for you personally to show your support for our bid for City of Culture. Email Wrexham Council. Just declare your support for the bid in a simple two-line email, but make sure you also include the hashtag Wrexham because all these little messages help show the breadth and depth of support we have in the town. Today we'll be looking at getting um, some great mortgage deals for you, both on remortgage and purchase. Um, also giving you a couple of top tips about getting mortgage ready, ready for when you're looking to purchase. It's currently a really hot market out there, so you need to be in prime position ready for your um, viewing. So with that in mind, you need to have seen a mortgage broker, make sure you've checked your affordability, make sure you've got all your relevant documents in place and all your eggs in line. If you're looking for a mortgage at the moment, we have some great deals that are on offer, both for remortgage and purchase, both for residential and buy to let. So top of the pops at the minute in terms of purchase, if we're looking for first time buyers, because it's a very busy market there for first time buyers, NatWest are really leading the way with that at the minute. So if you're looking at a five year fixed rate at the minute, you can go for two and a half percent with a fee of 995. We've also got rates at 275 where there is no booking fee and fee assistance. Moving away from NatWest, we've also got Barclays who will give you an advantageous rate if you go for a property that has a really good EPC. Um, they've got rates at 2.75 if you've got um, eco status on the property. They're not the only lender that do that. There are plenty out there that will actually give you a better rate. If you are looking at a buy to let purchase, TSB are really um, sourcing well at the moment as of today's rates. For five years, you can get 2.74 fixed there's no fees with that either, so that's on a remortgage. One of the things people are doing in the current market is raising additional funds from their existing property to purchase other properties. Virgin are doing very well at the moment. They've got a rate at 2.52 fixed for five years, and also the NatWest are also good at 2.53, again, for purchase on the buy to let. A couple of things just to be made aware, a couple of changes in the market. We are getting new lenders to market, so Dansky Bank is due in. Um, they lend in Northern Ireland and they lend in London, but they're offering some absolutely amazing rates. 
exclusive rates to the Mortgage Advice Bureau as well. Gifted deposits, normally, traditionally, they have to come from blood relatives, so mum, dad, grandparents, brother, sisters. But there are a couple of lenders now that come into the market that will allow you to have a gifted deposit that's not from a relative. So you can have a gifted deposit from a godparent or, or friend, etc. So Virgin and the NatWest will do that. Sometimes just enables you to get that property that you really want. A couple of other things we mentioned at the start about being mortgage ready. So top tips, bank statements, make sure they're in the correct address as to where you're actually living. Be careful with putting references when you're sending money to friends or when they send them back to you. Don't write things like loans because banks will query this and make it a little bit more difficult in underwriting. Make sure you're on the voters roll at any property that you currently reside at because that increases your credit score which enables you to get a higher loan to value deal should you need it. Make sure any ID is in date and in the correct address and make sure you keep copies of your payslips if, if you get manual payslips or have access to your HR systems in order to get those documents off when required. So those are the best deals as of today. As I said, it is a very quickly moving market, but we do have lots of different scenarios. So the lenders we've mentioned today are all your middle of the road lenders. We do have very bespoke lenders out there. So if you're looking for a purchase or remortgage and you think you might want to have a chat with us, the number's on the bottom of the screen to contact us and we'll be really happy to sit down and have a chat and see what we can do for you. We might have some bespoke solutions that you've not even thought of. I want to talk to you about a specific type of property, and that is a bungalow. The questions being asked of me are why are bungalows so expensive and why aren't there enough on the market for people to choose from? I better give you an explanation as to why. Bungalows are by definition ground hungry. A developer would be able to build two houses on the same size of plot that it would take to build one bungalow. Therefore, that is far more, far more of a, a profitable option for a developer. And because of that, the current population of bungalows will remain virtually the same, I would say, for the foreseeable future. The second part to this equation is the other side, where you have now more people who are aged 55 and over in the UK population than you've ever had before, that trend will not reach a peak until at least 2038. So let's extrapolate both sides of that equation. On the one side, you've got a static amount of bungalows, and on the other side, you've got an increasing number of people who are likely to be wanting bungalows. It doesn't take a genius to think what the results will be, and that is increasing prices of bungalows. In fact, I would go further and say to you, there is not a single type of property over the next 15 to 20 years that will increase more than bungalows. They will outperform the property market undoubtedly because of those factors I've just described to you. If you are an investor, I think bungalows are definitely gonna be a fine investment over the medium term. Or if you're somebody who is thinking that you might buy a bungalow in two to three, four years time, if you're certain about taking up that option, my advice to you is it would be, relatively speaking, cheaper for you to buy it sooner than later. Because if you do wait those two to four years to make that purchase, then you'll be paying much, much more. Over the last few weeks, an emerging trend is not only are we selling property, but there are some other distinguishing features as well, whereby we have got so many people now waiting for properties, certain type of properties in certain areas, that we are actually selling properties even before they come on the market proper. Just like this one over here. And this property here did make it to market. It took a bit longer two weeks and it was sold subject to contract. This property behind me, we attracted 24 requests for viewings within a week and a half of marketing this property. And as a result, it's already sold subject to contract.
And here we have a luxurious property on Marford Hill, which we sold for higher than market value. Now, the four properties, there's one key link between all four of them. And that is, as an aggregate, we achieved for our clients 104% of original marketed value. And we sold all four properties within a two week window. So the point I would make to you is I've given you and shown you proof where we can attract so many viewers that a sale becomes almost certain and also created a demand when we can, therefore can negotiate the best possible market price and in these four cases above market value price for you. So if that type of elevated marketing is of interest to you then please give us a call. The number you should call is on the screen right now so that I can have a conversation with you about how we elevate the marketing of your property and bring it to sale at a price that you would be delighted with. And that's the May edition of Wrexham Property TV. Please remember if you have any suggestions for any future subjects on property related matters, please do get in touch and let us know. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.